Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here with another kitchen hack for you. I'm sure you have one of these in your pantry, coconut oil. It's the new thing on the market and everybody's buying it for baking. But I'm gonna show you today three really clever ways to use coconut oil that you may have never thought of before. The first is a power breakfast smoothie and this really does have some power to it. So in the jar of the blender here, I'm gonna add a half of a banana a half cup of Greek yogurt, a half cup of orange juice, freshly squeezed is always preferred, a little bit of honey, and I have a tablespoon of honey just for sweetness. And now for the power, here is a quarter cup of old fashioned oats. And then the secret ingredient, which is the coconut oil, two tablespoons of coconut oil. And you can see at room temperature, this is a solid, but when you heat this up, it actually turns into a liquid. Coconut oil is so great for you because it has no cholesterol at all and I'm gonna add a half a cup of ice. And I'm gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth. So this looks great. Pour it into a nice tall glass. And there you have it, breakfast in a glass, packed with energy, and you'll be ready for the day. And now for another great use for coconut oil, seared scallops. I have a skillet heating over medium heat and I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of coconut oil into the pan to melt down. You can see it melts immediately. And these are beautiful sea scallops. And what you wanna do, make sure when you get them from the fishmonger, just that little piece, you wanna take that off. The abductor muscle, it's really tough, so do remove it. And then a little seasoning of salt and pepper. And now these are gonna go right into the skillet and they're gonna cook for about a minute to two minutes on each side. You don't wanna to go too, too high on the heat. With coconut oil, you want it to be at a medium heat. I'm gonna give these a nice turn. You want a nice golden crust. And then another minute on this side, these are good to go. And my favorite way to serve scallops is just simply nestled next to a bed of sauteed spinach. You could even steam the spinach if you would like. And there you have it, an easy, elegant, and really tasty meal. And it only took what, like two minutes to make? Such a great idea. So now the third recipe using coconut oil is a no-bake dessert, which is always great. A puffed rice cereal bark with milk chocolate. So I have eight ounces of the best quality milk chocolate that's melted. And to that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of coconut oil. And this is coconut oil at the liquid state. So it's been heated. It will thin out the chocolate nicely and it adds a really great flavor. So if you're a coconut lover, this is the recipe for you. I'm gonna add a pinch of coarse salt. Salt is really important when you're making desserts. Most people don't think to add it, but it actually does. It intensifies the flavors, really brings out the flavors. And one and a half cups of puffed rice cereal. So just mix this until it's nicely combined and then pour it and spread it onto a Silpat lined baking sheet. Just spread it out to about a quarter of an inch thick, something that's nice and thin and that will be easy to crack. You could also use parchment here, but I really think that a Silpat, it really just, nothing clings to it. It's easy to peel off and it's reusable, which is great. And now the final touch, extra coconut, two thirds of a cup of sweetened toasted coconut. Sprinkle that right over the top while it's still warm. So this goes into the refrigerator now until it's well chilled. And this is what it ends up like. And all you have to do is break this into nice bite-sized pieces. And this is perfect for the kids, for the adults be really great crumbled on top of an ice cream sundae. I'm just gonna give it a little taste here. It's so good. So there you have it, three great uses for coconut oil. And make sure when you're in the supermarket and you're buying your coconut oil, look for an organic version and a non-hydrogenated version. I hope I've inspired you to not only use your coconut oil for baking, but to try some really great new things. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do you have a kitchen conundrum that you need solved? Well, if you do, write in the comment section below. And as always, click subscribe.